In order to sketch quadratics, we need to know what y is equal to x squared looks like first, before we can do anything else. So, y is equal to x squared looks like this. Okay, so as x is increasing, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and so on, y is increasing by the square of it. So, 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, etc. Okay, so it gets steeper and steeper and steeper as we go on. And it goes in either direction. So this is not what y is equal to x squared looks like. If you're thinking about y is equal to 2x squared, then this looks thinner. When we go through um, graph transformations, you will see why. But the 2, that number in front of the x squared, effectively squeezes the graph inwards. So 3x squared, 4x squared, 5x squared will be ever thinner. So, if this is y is equal to x squared, then y is equal to 1 half x squared would look something like that. And slowly but surely, as that fraction gets smaller and smaller and smaller, uh, 1 quarter, 1 eighth, 1 hundredth, it gets closer and closer and closer to this straight line. y is equal to 0. And then we're going to get into the negative numbers. So y is equal to minus x squared looks like this. So y is equal to minus 2x squared would look like that. And y is equal to minus a half x squared would look like that. So you can build up this set of curves and understand what these are telling you, what shape this is. The shape of a quadratic, they are all the same style of shape and they are known as parabolas. Okay, So a quadratic has the shape of, of a parabola. Now, because we have that y is equal to x squared, and they are all of the same type of shape, they all have this line of symmetry going through the middle, which is very useful to know, because that will enable us to solve different types of problems. You'll also notice that it has this point here. So, for curves that are like this, there is that point, and then like this, there is that point. These are known as turning points, or stationary points. And as for the specific point of a quadratic, it is known as the vertex. So what we're going to be doing in the coming videos is really being able to sketch quadratics in different forms. And also, because we, with quadratics, we're also able to find where it crosses the x and y axis, we're also going to want to be able to find the coordinates of the vertex. So we're going to learn a whole bunch of tools that will enable us to do this in the coming videos.